In this video, we will be taking a look at upgrading to VMware vCenter Server 6.0 with an embedded platform services controller from vCenter Server 5.5 installed using the simple install method. This process is different from previous versions of vCenter Server. For more information about these changes and the upgrade process, see the vSphere 6.0 installation and setup guide. In this example, we have already downloaded and mounted the latest version of the vCenter Server 6.0 installation media obtained from the My VMware portal. If the Auto Run feature is enabled, you may simply double click on the drive that contains the vCenter Server 6.0 installation media. However, if this feature is disabled, within the Software Installer directory, double click autorun.exe to start the installer. Within the menu, select vCenter Server for Windows and click Install. Review the welcome screen and upgrade information and then click Next. Follow the prompts to accept the license agreement. Provide the existing vCenter Single Sign-On Administrator password. If the vCenter Single Sign-On Administrator user does not have administrative rights to vCenter Server, Deselect the Use the Same Credentials for vCenter Server box and provide administrative credentials to vCenter Server. Since our user does have the correct rights, we have left the box selected and will just click Next to continue. If you are using the embedded Microsoft SQL Express database provided with previous versions of vCenter Server, click OK when prompted to confirm that the database will be migrated to the VMware vPostgres database as Microsoft SQL Express is no longer supported in vCenter Server 6.0. For each component, accept the default port numbers. If another service is using the default ports, you may define alternative ports here. Click Next. If you would like to change the destination folders in which vCenter Server 6.0 with an embedded platform services controller is installed, you may change them here. If you do choose to install in a custom location, do not use folders with names that include an exclamation mark. In this example, we are installing to the default location, so we will just click Next to continue. Finally, review the upgrade information and select the box confirming that you have a valid backup of the vCenter Server machine and the vCenter Server database. If you do not have a current backup, it is strongly advised to do so before proceeding. Finally, click Upgrade to begin the upgrade process. This process may take a few minutes to complete while services are upgraded, configured, and started. In this example, we have shortened this process. Once the upgrade is complete, you will have the option to launch the vSphere web client to log into vCenter Server, or you may click Exit to quit the installer. This concludes our look at upgrading to VMware vCenter Server 6.0 with an embedded platform services controller from vCenter Server 5.5 installed using the simple install method. For further video tutorials, subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel. Thank you for choosing VMware.